Morning folks, in the truck Davy, out the truck and out for a walk with Buster, he's well there somewhere. Anyway, it's a, a beautiful morning here in North Lanarkshire, beautiful clear skies, sun's up at zero degrees and warming up nicely. And um, that's the weather for North Lanarkshire. Anyway, what's, what's Davy doing on the day again for a quick shot? Well, it has to do with the Owen Parson thing in Parliament yesterday. Well, they voted 250, I think it was 232, to overturn his 30-day 30, 30 ban from Parliament for a breach in parliamentary standards. Lobbying, paid lobbying work while he was a minister. And lobbying other departments on behalf of the people who were paying him 500,000 quid. So, the Parliament voted to overturn that and to rip up existing standards procedures okay but you know when I when I watched this yesterday and I was watching it unfolding I'm saying to myself there's a history here alright I mean if we ever look at the ministerial code it's broken with impunity now because Bojo's appointed some unelected lord as the gatekeeper who decides whether or no it's a serious breach and whether any action should be taken so generally these things are swept under the carpet and then of course there's the um, regressive bills that are coming to pass down that road. Like we've got the uh, human, uh, the intelligence and human sources bill, which allows the government to recruit your kids to spy on you, and it allows uh, officers of the state, and I mean any department, to break the law in the course of their duties, as long as they can justify it with um, economic security or national security. Which of course makes all us independent supporters targets, because we're at, we're a risk both to the state and to the state's economy. Okay, walk on, Buster. Walk on. And the Robert. And then of course there's the police sentencing, um, a police sentencing and courts building that road, which a allows them or give the police the power to break up peaceful protest, basically the outlawed peaceful protest in England. And then now they've ripped up the standards, and they're either overturning the outcome of the Commissioner's um, investigations. I mean, Mr Patterson was clearly guilty. There is a, nobody arguing that he wasn't guilty. They just think the procedures are wrong. Procedures have worked well for many years. But as I say, they're digging in down that road. Surprised us all. I thought in January the urban breaks it actually hit. Well, it did not they kicked the can down the road. But Bojo and his cabal, criminal friends, with a took the billions of stone for the public bus and they a runner. But no, no, they're digging in. And they, they say the regressive bills and they, what happened yesterday um, that I've already mentioned will be taught by Dominic Rab. Dominic Rab right now is putting together legislation to allow ministers of state to overturn the outcome of judicial reviews or court findings if they think they're wrong. Of course, ministers of state are the judges. Judges' jobs is to take the laws made in the parliament, <coughs> interpret them and enforce them. They're the gatekeepers to ensure that the criminal cabals in government don't go to hand. But that's no suit in this lot. So the criminal cabal down that road are actually taking full control into the hands of the cabinet and the criminal cabal will very soon be able to do what they bloody well want. And once Dominic Rab gets that bill through, by the way they passed a similar bill in Poland, I don't know if you're aware of this, Poland's got a big stussy going on with the, um, the EU at the moment because of um, the way that they they say it's a conflict of interest to have to enforce EU, EU law. And uh, that's what this is all about. Because when it gets down to NI protocol, the ECJ, European Court of Justice, is the final arbitrator. Well, they want to give the ministers the power to overturn those laws or those rulings of the ECJ, but it won't stop there. It'll make it into domestic findings and judicial reviews. It'll make it into anything that could be harmful to the the criminal cabal who's digging in down that road. Throw in gerrymandering of the constituencies, 
voter ID and you've got a Tory government in perpetuity forever. What we're seeing is a criminal cabal doing that road digging in and this is frightening stuff folks. It really is eyes on the prize time. It's time to gear up and get moving. Nicola's going to make an, an announcement in April, um, if no sooner, the way things are going. But partisan politics in your pockets and eyes on the prize because well, there's maybe trouble ahead, but there is going to be trouble ahead. So we need to get our yes hats on, badges on, silk tires flying, get them in hearts and minds because what's happening in that parliament in that road is fascism. And we're heading for a totalitarian state with a government who's gerrymandering constituencies, who's writing laws to suppress the rights of the people, and who's uh, bringing in voter ID, which will merely guarantee that they stay in power. So we have to get a move on. So partisan politics in my pockets. Yes, hats on. Get out there and win hearts and minds. Right, health messaging. Face coverings and close public spaces. Clean hands and surfaces regularly. Two metre social distance when you're in a boot. And get a test. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that short. I hope you found it informative. And hey, we'll see you all later. Bye.